All right, card number two for the September Stamp of the Month kit is this little cutie. It says, trick or treat, smell my feet, and features the one eye um, little monster from Monster Bash. When you get your card kit, you're gonna find a little bag in this one with a couple extra buttons. Um, I die cut a couple of bats and a few web dies just as samples. I don't usually do the die cutting uh, because it just takes too long with all the kits that I have to prep. I use it and or I give you the pieces and then let you usually do the die cutting. But in this case, I thought a, fun, a few fun extras would be good. So you get your picture, your card bases, black cardstock. This is to die cut or punch um, your border. I used the Amuse Studio web die and cut these little guys. And then when I applied them to my card, I just kind of broke them up in pieces and used them as a border. Lots of fun. And there's a few of those in there for you to play with. Probably enough to do one card, but not both. Um, you can substitute a different border. Uh, we've got a spooky fence die that would look awesome across there. You know, whatever you've got. But you can also order the Muse Studio web die. It's perfect for the season. And then the bitty bats. I did include a couple of little bitty bats in there. But for $3.95, I suggest you pick up your bitty bats. This die is awesome. I have used it, you know, it's, it cost me $3.95, and I've probably gotten $395 worth of value out of it. Great little die. Okay. So... Um, putting together this card, super simple. Let me move these parts away. Um, the eyes, the little um, twinkle sticker for the eyes on this card are also going to be in this bag, the little jewelry bag inside this card kit, so you know when you're putting your cards together. All right, let me run you through this one really quick. Um, first, you're going to have a larger scrap of papaya, and that's so that you can die cut your moons. Um, you can punch it or die cut, whatever you like. I'm going to run mine through the spellbinders real quick. Hang on, I'm going to make a moon. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back with my moon. I used the Spellbinders Standard Circle die. I used the large set and the second die in the set. And you've got plenty of room on that one to punch a second moon. So that's something to look out for when you're putting together your kit. There's your little moon. All right, got your card base and a one and a quarter inch piece of chevron wasabi chevron cardstock and i'm just going to adhere that down with some adhesive the flat stuff no dimension there and after you've got that little guy down then you can use either a border punch or a or a die in this case i'm going to just cut up the amuse studio web die and use my quickie glue pen and just glue that on in pieces to make this fun little border. All right, and let's see here. I'll take another little piece like that, I think. And again, a little bit of the quickie glue pen to tack down the web. I'm just putting a little bit on there, just enough to kind of hold it in place until I get the sentiment panel over the top. Okay, and then another little piece of this die. Let's see here. I'll just take another one and cut it in half. And then, hmm, I'm not sure how I want to do this guy. Maybe this way? Hmm. Maybe I'll overlap them a little bit. Yep, I think that works. using first mark ink and I'm going to stamp it just a little bit off center. I have a little piece of foam buck here. It'll catch my extra embossing powder. A little white embossing powder on there. Just flicking off the extra. Move that a 
side. It'll be easier to put the embossing powder back. Heat that and emboss it. All right, and here you're gonna use a lot of adhesive because this is gonna help hold down those little wet pieces. So we've got our adhesive and just cover that where the webs meet the chevron paper. All right, and then I've got the little one-eyed guy and I'm gonna ink him up in the versifying ink. I like the versifying for these little guys. It makes a really fun kind of a silhouette image. You get a nice solid black. There he is, isn't he cute? Oh my goodness. All right, and then I've got my moon. I'm gonna put it on with some foam adhesive. And the little bats. I'm gonna put these guys in the moon. And I think the best way to get these tiny little bats glued down is with a quickie glue pen. Isn't that cool? I love this die. These super itty bitty bats are great for embellishing any Halloween project. Tilt him at an angle. There we go. There you go. I've got a little button over here all flossed up. Adhere that with a glue dot. And there's your card. Trick or treat, smell my feet. All right, one more card. I'll be right back with another video.